How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. What we're looking at today is a 2019 Chevy Tahoe Command Vehicle that we built for the Mawa, New Jersey Fire Department. So taking a look at the overall vehicle, we have Sound Off Signals Blueprint 3.0 multiplex system in it. Up top, we have the Sound Off Signal M Power bar in dual color front, tri color corners, and it has the four inch modules. So the front does white flood, the sides do white flood, and then the corners also have a green command override feature in them. In the front windshield, we have a Sound Off Signal interior light bar that's in dual color to provide additional scene lighting also. In the grill, we have six Sound Off Signal M powers mounted. These also have the white override feature in them. Uh, we painted the bow tie of the grill to match the other accents that we've made to the vehicle that we'll go over in a few minutes. Uh, we have sound signal hideaways mounted in the headlights. We have the headlight flasher wired in, which is currently on park kill. And then we have sound off signals fog light kit in tricolor. These have the white override feature also for the scene light function. So taking a look at the side of the vehicle, you can see the graphics package that we designed for this vehicle. Uh, it matches similar to the previous vehicles that we've built for them. Um, we've taken their patch and we've actually uh, revamped it from the last vehicle and matched one of their new engines that just came in. Um, and then what we've done is this a uh, black 3M reflective material. And then we've gone over and we've printed the department name on top of that. Uh, up front on the front bumper, we have Sound Those Signal 4 inch M powers. These are in tricolor with the white override feature. We have four three inch sound off signal M powers on the running boards. These have the white override feature. They also come on white when you open the doors. Underneath the mirror, we have sound off signal intersectors in dual color. They have the white override feature also. These flash white when the vehicle is not in park and then the white also functions as, a, as an alley light. And then on the rear back bumper, we have sound off signal four inch M powers in tri-color also with the same white override feature we had before. Taking a look at the back of the vehicle, we have Sound of Signal's 8-head bracket for the Chevy Tahoe with tri-color M-Powers on it. Uh, they're in either a red, amber, white, or a blue, amber, white configuration. So the arrow stick functions at the amber. We have a little bit of amber mixed in right now. And then the white is an additional scene light function. On the rear plate, we have Sound of Signal dual stacked end forces in tri-color. They have the white override feature for reverse and rear scene. Uh, these are also feature the white housing available from Sound Off. Uh, in the tail lights, we have uh, reverse light replacement bulbs that are tied into the blueprint system that are now flashing in sync with all the other lights. And then we've uh, rewired the parking lights to also into the blueprint system to give them more warning light feature. And then on the back bumper, we have sound of signal 4 inch M powers in tri color with the white override feature. Uh, they come on with reverse and when the rear hatch is open or the rear scene function, providing a lot of functionality into the vehicle that you wouldn't be able to get out of a traditional electrical system. So we've activated the command feature, which is the green flashing corners of the light bar. So both sides have the green as a tri color module in the light bar. And this helps signify command when they're operating at a scene that they can turn on. Uh, this is also available as a steady feature, and this actually overrides the warning lights. You can see that we have the amber arrow stick function uh, activated right now, so this allows them to use it as a traffic director. What's nice about the sound of signal is it's a progressive system, so one press will do left, one press will do right, and then the third press will do center out, and then the fourth press shuts the unit off. Uh, with the blueprint system, the arrow stick is synced with the rear arrow stick with the red and blue so that they have uh, the availability to use the arrow stick from a distance and you're still able to see it. And it just adds another feature to the vehicle that you normally wouldn't have with a traditional electrical system. Okay, so what we've done is we've activated the takedown left alley, right alley, and rear scene feature. Um, gives you a 360 degree scene function. So all the modules in the front are now turned to white. All of our side lights are white, which give you uh, scene lighting to look for houses, to help light up a scene. Uh, anything that where you may need scene lighting, you have plenty at nighttime. So with the hatch open on the vehicle, you can see the rear command area that we've designed specifically around the customer's specifications. Um, on the rear hatch starting out, we have three inch sound off signal M powers in dual color. 
on the hatch, we've installed all their radio speakers with a special bracket that allows the speakers to be removed in the event services needed. And then we have two sound off signal strip lights that are mounted to provide scene lighting on the command area when they are working from the back of the vehicle. Uh, we've designed a custom command cabinet for this. It has a full depth slide out that allows them to mount their gear or any other tools. They've got their SCBA bracket. They have an open storage area that they're able to keep small med bags or any other small equipment in there. We have a parcher drawer. And then we have our side flip ratcheting magnetic command board. So this allows them to operate here. As you can see, we have the radio faceplate angled to work better with the side flip board. And then they also have a mount up top here uh, that they'll be installing with a USB port for their iPad that they use for their instant. And then we also have 12 volt USB outlets on the faceplate along with kill switches for the scene lights and the warning lights on the hatch lip. And then we have two open storage areas on the bottom. One's gonna be for their extinguisher, rope bags, and they also have a pass through for their uh, irons to protrude into the back of the cabinet. So what we're looking at is the front console for the vehicle. Uh, we've installed the blueprint controller along with four of their radios, their cup holder, uh, we have a locking compartment in the map storage area and then their portable chargers recessed into the back. They have a hint mount that's going to be used for an iPad at a later date once they get it back to the station and install it. And then we've installed radio speakers to the side of the console and then we have a locking slide out uh, compartment on the side here that they'll be using to store any valuables that they may need to. Um, two of the speakers for the radios are on the console. The other two we've recessed into the hatch similar to the way that we've done the back rear hatch compartment. A look at the control panel. We have the arrow stick functions. We have the take down the left alley, the right alley, the rear scene, the low frequency siren, uh, the green command function, and then we have the ignition override which allows them to take the key out and keep the car secure. If you like what you see, check out our website, www.1075vehicles.com, and you can view all of our latest deliveries and our available build options for you. Thanks for checking out our video, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your attention and support. Thank you.